How many of you know Lawrence Wong? Who, who is Lawrence Wong? Why is he important? It's gonna be the next Prime Minister. Do you feel like it's gonna be a big change, Lawrence Wong? It's a big change. But what if you looked at the bigger picture? The ruling party is still the PAP. Is it really a change? Or is it gonna be more of the same? And we think about the PAP, we think about a party that is strong, powerful, almost invulnerable because it has ruled us since 1959. Is it true that the PAP was always this strong? No. In fact, there was a time when the PAP faced an existential crisis of titanic proportions, when 80% of its members fled and the PAP almost did not survive. What was this story? You're going to tell it. For the moderates, hope lay with the British, who were still in charge of internal security in Singapore. Threatened by the direct action of the radical left, they had declared communism illegal. One of many under suspicion was radical leader Lim Chin Siang. Giving a rare interview at his union headquarters, he confronted accusations. I'm sick I mean, to answer this question. This is not the first time I'm being asked the same question. And I'm not going to spend my, the rest of my life to answer this question. I tell you categorically, I'm not a communist. But in raids across the island, Lim, Fong, and more than 200 left-wing colleagues were arrested. They would not emerge from prison for another three years. Unchallenged in his party, Lee Kuan Yew could now prepare for the elections ahead. In June 1959, the PAP swept to power on a tide of mass support. On the steps of City Hall stood the first native-born Singaporean to control the island. I agree with Singapore being a democratic country, we will strive for our citizens to support us and also we will give them joy, we will give them an easy guy here. Let's go! Moving towards independence will unite Singapore and talk about problems such as education, labor, and many more. We shall tackle housing here, citizens! <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so that our fellow citizens will live a peaceful, comfortable life and will also have a place to be sheltered. We will then focus on public work and then education for our future generation. Yeah! Good afternoon class, I'm Josiah Lim and this is my team. They will talk about Act 2, which is about the collapse of PAP to two different parties. I stand in front of you saying that the PAP leaders are now moving quickly enough to achieve Singapore's dream. Oh. Oh. Yes, oh. That statement you made was disrespectful. You will have to retract your statement or else resign from your position. 
Well, I will resign from my position and from the party. <laughs> and then I will fight an election again against the PAP. Let's see who wins. Okay? Okay. Given my status, uh, status and the power, I will surely win. Members of PAP, if you agree with me, join me. <laughs> Um, the PAP government in Singapore is losing against communist leaders. A communist state of once in Singapore will threaten Malaya. Maybe I should offer a merger between Malaya and Singapore. Then I'll have the power to no. stamp out those communists once and for all. I do not advise taking such drastic steps. How so? Are you the one considering the future of the country? I mean, technically, yes, for Singapore. However, I'm certain you wanted me to say no, which I find awfully selfish of you. Or well, maybe that will convince our dear Lee Kuan Yew not to merge with your uh, country. But anyways, I think merging with you will result in something negative. Okay, then. The Council of Malaya has offered a merger with Singapore. I believe that the merger with Malaya is the best option for Singapore's future prosperity! I think otherwise we mustn't give Malaya what they want. How many times must I say this? Enough times I'll believe it, which won't happen. I do not want to hear your horrendous opinion again. A merger with Malaya will help us in economic growth, resulting in both success for both countries. Just because you are a strong believer in communism, doesn't mean that you should, that everyone else is. Well, guess what? Now I don't want to hear your horrendous opinion. Okay, this time, yeah, this, time yeah. this time, you listen to what yeah, I have to yeah, say, yeah. and I have to say yeah. that I am done with the PAP. Fine, sure, let's go! Surprise, the doll's right there. there. You don't even care. The doll's right there, bye. <laughs>
Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew will do something if that were to happen. Besides, the blue still out, out, outweighs the call. The merger with Malaya will, can help Singapore's economy become stable and better. We, the Singaporeans, will benefit from the merger and full independence from the British. The merger with Malaya is obviously the right choice for Singapore. This may be true, but that's not enough to change my mind on the merger. It has the culture. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, Act 4. This is about Operation Cold Store. First, you will see the internal council meeting between Lim Chin Siong, uh, the Tunku Abdul Rahman, and George Douglas Hamilton. Mm, Ham um. <laughs> and then after that, you will see something very fun. Yes. Mm. Um, and start the scene. Yes. We have no time to waste. We shall rest the communists in Singapore. They pose a great threat to the merger of Singapore and Malaya. We cannot allow them to persist. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I agree. Uh, however, we need to find a good reason for these arrests. Otherwise, it will look like unwanted British colonial interference with Singapore's local politics. Well, there is evidence that the communist leaders in Singapore, such as Lim Chin Xiao, were involved were involved <laughs> was involved with a rebellion in Brunei. These communists are dangerous and they may be planning a similar rebellion in Singapore. Well, what do the Singaporean leaders think? Should we arrest the communist leaders in Singapore? I hope many of them were once part of the PAP. I strongly agree that we should arrest the communist leaders in Singapore. They pose a great, great threat to Singapore. It matters not if they were once members of the PAP. They yeah. are no longer stand for what is best for Singapore. Ah, uh, uh, yes. It must quickly be rid of. Yes, uh, I share your beliefs, but what if the people get upset? I heard that there are many communist sympathizers in Singapore. The masses might take to the streets should they hear that the communist leaders got arrested for no good reason. That, does, that doesn't matter. So what if a few people get upset? Soon enough, they will realize that what we have set out to do here today is ultimately what's best for Singapore. Yeah, that sounds good. I, I will ensure that the British vote for the rest of the communist leaders. As the Singaporean parties will not get a vote in this matter, the people shall not know the true nature of your beliefs in regards to whether or not the communist leaders should get arrested or not. This will certain give, certainly give you the ability to deny any involvement in the arrest of the communist leaders in Singapore, protecting your support from the masses. In that case, I shall make sure that the Malayans vote for the arrest of the communists. Yeah. 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 Hey, come on, Ted. Oh, come on. One. Two. What can I do for you, gentlemen, at this late hour? Uh, Mr. Lim, we are here to issue you a warrant of arrest. On what grounds are you placing me under arrest? I am a member of the Legislative, Legislative <laughs> Assembly elected by the people. Mr. Lim, please do not resist. Put your hands behind your back right this instant. This is insane. I will not stand for this. The people will not stand for this. Do not resist. You will regret this. <laughs> <laughs> Worse, Malaya sees us as a piggy bank. They will tax us and take our money to spend for themselves. Malaya will surely open a common market, as it is another way for them to earn money, as we won't tax them back either. It's a new opportunity. They won't let this chance slip by so easily, and neither will I. Malaya will tax us until all our money is gone. We're like puppets to them. They will use us. Merger will never benefit us. It would only point us straight into the direction of our own grave. 
Hence, I decide no mahjong. Yeah. 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 Hello, what can I do for you gentlemen at this late hour? Mr. Lim, we are here to issue a warrant of arrest. On what grounds are you placing me under arrest? Please place your hands behind your back immediately. You are under arrest. Anything you, s you say will be used against you in court. This is outrageous. I will not accept this. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> A communist takeover in Singapore or no. threatened Mal Malaya. <coughs> Maybe I should offer a merger between Ma Malaya and Singapore. That way I will have the power to stamp out those communists once and for all. However, what is the point of gaining full independence from the British if we are simply going to fall under the control of Malaya and the Tengku? We have only sought one master for another.